So as we officially enter our summer market, the good news is that we have continued our upward trend of increasing inventory as we still see more available homes coming on the market. Now, I often get asked, what is happening actually in today's real estate market? And really, to better answer that question, I wanna take a closer look at what's happening with three different price ranges. The first is the one million or less, the second is one million to two million, and lastly is the two million or greater price range. Now what's interesting is that you'll see there are some unique differences in each of these ranges, and I'll actually go into the differences as well as what you can expect if you're buying or selling in each of the different price ranges. Now, in the meantime, I wanna mention that interest rates are continuing to hold steady in the upper 6% range at this time. Now, I'm Harold Powell. I'm just a local real estate agent here serving Ventura and the surrounding communities. So if you like my videos and wanna stay up to date on all things real estate for Ventura, then I suggest hitting the subscribe, like, and bell icon to be notified of future content. All right, so let's start with the 1 million and under price point. Now, when we take a look at the supply and demand chart, the light green bar actually represents the supply of homes, the dark green bar represents the solds, and the red line is for the pending sales. Now, when we look at the supply side, you can see that the supply for May 2024 is actually up 52% from May of 2023. And June is currently up 60% from a year ago. So you can see that the number of closed and pending sales for May of this year is just under the number of supply of homes. So this is telling us that there is a very strong demand for the supply of homes in this range. Now, there is something that is interesting that I see here, and that's last summer we saw the pending monthly sales exceed the supply of the monthly inventory, while this year's monthly supply is really beginning to exceed the monthly demand. So this means if you are a buyer, you'll have an easier time than last year in purchasing a property. If you are a seller, it means that you will have more homes that you are competing with than you were last year. Now, the other helpful graph really to look at is the months of inventory based on pending sales. Last summer, we actually had under one month supply of inventory. And May of this year, we're currently at 1.2 months of inventory and June supply is trending higher than May with somewhere around 1.8 months supply at this point. So we are still seeing a very strong seller's market in this range. I will say that this is the most competitive price range for buyers, meaning it's very likely that you could be competing with other buyers in this range. And while sellers can expect to have to compete with more homes on the market, if you are priced realistically, you will see offers within a short amount of time, maybe just a few weeks, given the demand. All right, so let's move on to the one to two million price range. Now, when you look at the supply and demand graph, there are some similarities and some differences than what we saw in the one million price range. Like the 1 million and under, we see an increase in inventory from a year ago. May of 2024 is actually up 76% from last year, and May of this year actually sits at 283 homes, while last year we were, we were at uh, 160 homes. Now the big difference here is that the demand has consistently been less than the supply. So when we look at the inventory based on pending sales of May, we're at right around 2.2 months of inventory versus 1.1 months supply from last year. So if you are a buyer in this range, you will again will have less competition than other buyers than the 1 million or under price range. And sellers will still currently have the edge since a seller's market is really defined by having one to three months supply of inventory. So at the same time, you, if you are a seller in this price range, you may expect to take more time than the 1 million or less range. And we are seeing more sellers at the top of this range having to make more price adjustments. All right, so let's look at the last range, which is the 2 million or greater price point. Now, the supply and graph looks quite a bit different than the 1 million or less range. What stands out is there is a quite a bit more supply than the demand. With 81 homes on the market and 21 pending sales for May, 
it's quite a bit different. Also, the increase in inventory is much less dramatic here when you compare May of this year at 81 versus homes last year at May was 76. This is a, we're only like a 6% increase. Now, there are a few things I want to point out as we take a look at the supply of inventory based on pending sales. The first thing to, to take a look at is the seasonality effect of winter months where the months of inventory actually jumps all the way up to nine months of inventory in January just due to the drop in demand. And when we look at the months of inventory for May of this year at uh, what 3.9, it's actually very similar to last year's number of 3.2. Otherwise, really the big difference between this price range and the others is that we see the months of inventory consistently above three months of inventory. Now, when we see th the months of inventory over three months, that is what we consider a balanced market. And the closer the months of inventory approaches six months, then the closer we are to a buyer's market. So the takeaway here for buyers is that you're not likely gonna have to compete with nearly as many buyers as compared to the other price points. And you really are on more of an equal footing with the seller as far as negotiating goes. And sellers in this price range can expect a longer market time as well as fewer buyers that can obviously afford this range. And this range will most likely see price reductions given the type of market conditions that we see here. And at the same time, if you have a unique property that is hard to find, you still may find more than one buyer competing for your property. All right, I hope you found this video helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. Thanks.